So, what symptoms do you expect in your patient with MS? What should happen? In order to understand this, let's draw the brain, okay? This is the brain and this is your tentorium and I'm going to draw the cerebellum here. This is your thalamus, midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata and your spinal cord. Okay? Now, classically, the wording goes, whenever somebody's got MS, it likes to affect four areas. You need to know that. What are the four areas that the MS likes to attack? You have a ventricle here typically, right? There's a ventricle here. You get attack of periventricular region. Okay? Periventricular region will get attacked. Apart from that, you will also get juxta cortical. Juxta cortical as well as cortical. Right? Areas are going to get affected. Then, you're also going to get infratentorial. Infratentorial, which is going to be your brainstem. And lastly, it's going to affect your spinal cord. So those are the four important areas that you need to know that the MS is going to destroy. Periventricular, juxtacortical, infratentorial, essentially saying brainstem, and spinal cord. Those are the four. Okay? Now, to understand exactly what the destruction is going to be, we've got to open this up a little bit more. 